Mail call. Mail call from Tim over at Fortitude Garage. Stay tuned to see what is in the box. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Live or Diecast. As always, I want to thank each and every single one of you, 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 and all of you out there for watching my videos, commenting on my videos, interacting with Live or Diecast. Today, on this episode, I'm coming to you with a mail call from Tim over at Fortitude Garage. Now, Tim has a YouTube channel. It's Fortitude Garage. I will leave his YouTube banner right here down below. Go check him out. He's got some scrap hauling, metal scrap hauling videos, uh, some old New Holland John Deere farm equipment, manure spreaders and cedars, planters. Pretty cool, sounds like a great guy. He, he got in touch with me. He wanted to send in a competitor, a challenger for Ladder Wars King of the 573. So I gave him my information and he has sent in a challenger. Now, I'm not gonna tell you I'm a genius, but I can tell you that there's more than a challenger in this box. It feels heavier than a challenger unless there's you know rocks or something in here. So. I'm excited to get in here, see what it is. He also sent me a little list of some cars that he's looking for. If I happen to come across them, he would like me to grab them for him, and I would be more than happy to do so, my friend. Now, I have not been hunting as much as I would like in the last couple of weeks. I had some car issues. I've had, you know, the end of school is coming near, so my son and I have been focused on getting his school done uh, so we can focus on summer and then getting in, in summer school and getting back in class in seat. So I've had some life uh, things going on and I've kind of put the, the hunting on the back burner but I'm excited to get back in the stores I went yesterday I didn't have any luck just kind of went out and seen what I'd kind of missed in the last you know week or so and uh, I've missed some drops so I better get back out there and, and get back to it but as today I'm excited to get in here see what's in here so stay tuned stick around and we get this camera flipped around and we'll be back all right and we're back now tell you by looking at this box in these corners there's a lot of tape and this could be interesting so be patient don't laugh and I'm excited to see this challenger that Tim sent in again Tim is from Fortitude Garage he does have a YouTube channel so go check him out I believe he did say that he was going to try to start doing some more Hot Wheels um, related things on his channel. Well, you might not have to undo all those. You might just be able to go right in here. So that would be cool. Um, I would be interested in seeing maybe some hunts or some diecast racing or Tim, whatever you're, you know, whatever you're into, whatever interests you and is fun. Um, I used to plumb for a family plumbing business, so I know all about scrap and copper. Um, we would do new construction, groundwork, rough in, and then finish. So we always had scrap copper left over and we would save it in these big barrels and then we would take it in at the end of the year and cash it in and copper went up. And we usually make pretty decent money off of that. Okay. Well, thank you, Brandon. So it looks like there's a note here. All right, now this has um, okay. It says, Brandon, thank you for the opportunity to, to enter a car into Ladder Wars. I appreciate it and cannot wait to see how it does. I sent you some random act of kindness cars for your collection. Make sure you look closely at the Honda I sent you, the Civic. I really enjoy your videos and look forward for more to come. Hope this finds you well and happy hunting. I'm listing some Hot Wheels I've been looking for but haven't been able to find. Since all my usual hunting grounds have been bare or cleaned out by the time I show up. Besides what's listed, I'm looking for Camaros and the early Flame Series cars from 2016. 
first year of them until 2019. I had them all, including store exclusives, Super Treasure Hunt, Zamac, but unfortunately had to let them go and am now working to replace them. I'm including money for the cars. I'm needing your time and fuel. Wow. Colors, okay, thank you. Again, Tim from Fortitude Garage. So he has left me a, a list of cars that he is looking for and I will do my best to find them. I think just taking a quick glance, I may have a couple of these already. Um, I may have a couple of these already. So, all right, Tim, I will do my best to get that out to you. I appreciate the letter. It will go with my others. I appreciate the money for gas and your cars and the time spent. Much appreciated. This community, man, I tell you what, I'm just, I, wow, I'm, I'm speechless. Tim, thanks so much, man. Much appreciated. And I will do my best to find those cars for you. I promise. Okay, so we're going to set these aside. Now, I hope these are labeled. Looks like it might be. So it says, oh my goodness, we've got another turbulence. As you all know, Eddie from Simple Customs kind of ruled the, the ladder war, or actually that was race wars uh, back then. But in the same similar car, a little bit different livery, it says, Brandon, here is my entry for ladder wars, king of the 573. Thanks again. Fortitude Garage Tim. All right, man. Well, I will put that in line with the others. Um, I'm excited. I think not next week, but the week after my little Ferrari hits the track to take on Ladder Wars. And I'm excited to see how that does. Hopefully, it does. I don't get embarrassed. Okay, so here is an opened car. Looks like a 56. Chevy Nomad station wagon. It's got the yellow enamel. It's got a flame livery going down the side. Tribal, I don't know, let's get it out of here and take a look. All right. It is a Chevy Nomad. It's got the classic chrome five spokes front and rear on all four corners. The chrome base made in Malaysia, the Chevy Nomad. That's pretty cool. That will go, that will definitely go on my displays when I get them back up. Awesome, awesome. Looks good sitting there with those Chevy trucks too. And it says, maybe you can restore this on live or die cast. Oh, wow. It looks like a Baja breaker. This is the one of the original black wall uh, castings. It's done in the green. Heck yeah, man. Wow. It's got the hood that comes up. That is sweet. It's got the original... Uh, black walls, which look like they need to be taken off and straightened up a little bit. And I can probably clean those wheels up with my chrome pen. Heck yeah, man. This was made in Hong Kong. It's got... Uh... Heck yeah, dude. I will definitely restore this. I will do this... This will not be one that I will give away, but I will definitely do a restoration project on this Baja Breaker. I believe that's what this is. Uh, Hot Wheels. I can't, it doesn't say, but I believe that's what it is. The Baja Breaker. The van, it's got the hood that comes up, black interior, green enamel. You can see it had some yellow and blue livery on it at one time. Um, the wheels are in pretty rough shape, but I can take those out. I think I can straighten up the axles and fix those. And this thing will be looking good again. So, Tim, thanks a lot. Definitely, I will do a resto on that for sure. That is really cool, actually. Metal base, original black walls. That's sweet, man. Where did you find that? Like a flea market or something? Or is that... Where did that come from? Curious, curious to know.
Okay, well, let's start with this. This was on top here. Now, these look like some Honda Civics, and he said pay, pay close attention to the Civic. So, let's get it out of here. Or, sorry, I said Civic. CRX. So, this is a CRX. Now, it said Civic, so this must not be it. But I'm going to take a close look at it and see if there's anything that sticks out to me. And I don't actually, I do, no, hold on a second. No, I've got one similar, but this has got the gold laced wheels and a different livery. And the CRX is done on the back, different bases. Hmm. But it said Civic, so. All right, this is cool, 80s Corvette. Now, I know most of you know that I am, I do love my JDMs, but I love my old muscle cars too and stuff, but I do have a Corvette collection of all years. Um, to me, as I've always said, you know, when I think American, American muscle, classic muscle, I think of the Corvette. It just says, it just says America to me, so. It's done in the Hot Wheels livery. It's got the chrome five spokes, front and rear on all four corners, clear glass, metal base this thing is sick i like it white interior very very cool wow this looks this looks special it's all wrapped up nice and neat so we're going to be very careful in opening this so we don't damage anything If our razor blade will cooperate with us today. Again, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos, commenting, interacting with Live or Diecast. Much appreciated. Stay tuned for this week's Ladder Wars. Got some exciting racing going on. And Thanks to Tim for sending in the Turbulence Challenger for Ladder Wars. Okay, so I'm going to have to kind of get creative here and kind of figure out. There we go. This looks like it might be a Civic, and this is probably the one that Tim was talking about. Pay close attention to the Civic. So, this thing, now it is wrapped up very well. Let's set this out of the way here. Now I do have, oh wow, oh wow, I already see it, oh my goodness. Took me a second. This is the one that I did the base, the base swap on. Uh, Strictly Diecast sent this casting to me loose. I did a base swap on it and I'm going to do a wheel swap on it. I just haven't found the perfect set of wheels for it yet but as you know I took that red base from the black one and we did a wheel swap put the back black base on the black one the red one on the red and white and black livery I think it was a good move and I'm excited to get the new wheels on this it's really gonna make this casting pop but check this out you guys so if you notice on this casting it has a smoked kind of lightly tinted glass this one that Tim sent me, there is no glass in it. My camera probably won't pick it up, but the glass is is gone. It is a, it appears to be an error. That is exciting. You know, I'm not even gonna take it out. Well, I'll probably take it out of this. I'll probably get a display case to put this in, but that is really cool. 
I do collect some errors. It took me a second to, to figure it out, but that's what it is. It's missing the interior glass. How cool is that? Tim, thank you so much, man. That is awesome. I am stoked to add that to the collection for sure. Definitely won't be opening that. It will probably come out of this and go into one of my favorite protectors, of course, Sterling Protectors. If you have not checked out Sterling Protectors, please do. They are awesome. If you got die cast 164 scale, I believe they do for premiums as well, short cards. They've got every protector for every collector's needs. Please check out Sterling Protectors. They're made right here in the USA. They did not disappoint me, and I promise you, you won't be disappointed either. But this bad boy right here is going straight in a Sterling Protector. That is really cool. This is the only error that I have that is missing the interior glass. Tim, thank you so much, man. That is awesome. I really can't thank you enough. This is kind of a one-of-a-kind you know, you're not guaranteed to go out and find this. And for the fact that you gave this to me, man, that means a lot, dude. It really does. I, I'm i speechless. I, all I can do is say thank you very much. And I'm very grateful and appreciative. That is very, very cool. Wow. Now, I do believe, I'm not sure, but there's some newspaper here. And, this, yep, and it looks like there's maybe something else here. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. This may, not be, this may just be packing, but I want to check. All right. Yep, that was just packing. So, let's go over this awesome, another awesome Live or Diecast mail call from Live or Diecast Nation. Much appreciated. Tim from Fortitude Garage sent over the Race Team Series 3 Chevy Corvette done in the Hot Wheels livery, chrome five spokes, metal base. Very nice. Sent the Honda 1985 CRX done in the red, white, and blue turbo livery. It's got the chrome laced wheels on all four corners carded and of course he sent his challenger for ladder wars king of the 573 i'm excited to get this on the track i know this car will do well it's a known it's a known to be fast casting so can't wait to get it on the track the baja breaker for my restoration videos on live or die cast definitely be looking out for that because i will definitely do a restoration on that don't forget about the 56 Chevy Nomad station wagon done in the yellow livery with the black and white flames, chrome five spokes on all four corners. Beautiful, beautiful casting. And last but not least, this is unbelievable. I know my camera's not going to pick it up for you guys, but there is no interior glass in this Honda Civic Type R 2018 very very cool super excited to add that to the collection unbelievable another awesome mail call from liver diecast nation tim thank you so much fortitude garage like i said if you haven't check him out encourage him to get his hot wheels youtube videos going he seems like a great guy tim thanks for interacting with live or diecast commenting on my videos sending in the challenger and all these gifts let's not forget about the 20 bucks you sent for a few cars the nice letter much appreciated, Tim. Again, just another testament of why I think the diecast community is the best and is very, very close to my heart and very important to me. So, again, I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning into the videos, commenting, and interacting with Liver Diecast. As always, remember friendliness is free. We all have a purpose. Peace. Tim, thanks again unbelievable mail call. Everybody have a great weekend. Be safe. Love your families. Until next time, I'm out.